How could I set up protection? There are all sorts of different methods out there. If you are used to working with your consciousness, if you possess some skills, as well as the skills that are taught in our school, then even the I am state is in itself great protection from the above mentioned influences, plus additional cleansing practices, as well as additional fortification of the will and the mental space. If you don't engage in any practices, then naturally you will need specific protection that is granted by cults and systems. And it would be better if those systems are of a higher order, meaning either religious or divine cults. Christianity does grant this protection, but only if one complies by certain conditions. You can just wear a cross and say, I am protected. You must go through a cleansing rite, go through confession, as well as other rituals. It worked for you, just not for long. The second system would be the magical one, meaning to obtain a magic amulet or talisman and wear it. Do you know why it didn't work? The protection covers your consciousness, your aura, your surface in a cocoon. But the cocoon also covers what is on the inside. If the inside is not cleaned out, naturally it starts to smell bad. And in the end it will break this protection from the inside in order to escape. Your consciousness starts to push all this energetic dirt outside. There could be astral dirt or something that settled on the etheric body and wasn't cleansed, and so it is being pushed out of the consciousness, and then any protection would break from inside out. They also say a person is self-destructive. Why would someone attempt to destroy themselves? Because they can't bear coexisting with this whatever it is on their inside. I was told that I had certain influence done on me. I even know who it was, but I don't know that individual personally. It was done to steal my husband, but it wasn't successful. It settled a bit skewed. These love spells break up causing spells. They just settled a bit skewed. You know what? Just do some cleansing. Very simply, just cleanse yourself. If you don't possess the necessary skills, find a person who does. A witch lady in a village elementary. I found a person already, but they couldn't remove the spell completely. Even just by looking at a photo, they said that it is a very strong spell. They said it just by looking at my photo. Well, sure. But, you know, there is not much I can recommend besides saying that since you find yourself in this situation, it must be for a reason. Do you agree? Begin by educating yourself on this subject. That way you won't have to run around looking for specialists. You will be constantly finding yourself in these types of situations. Okay, today someone wanted to steal your husband. Tomorrow some co-worker will try to push you out from your position. The day after tomorrow you will run across a gypsy and won't be able to defend yourself against their spell. How much longer can one put up with this? If you have a karmic predisposition for victimhood, then you need to learn how not to be a victim. Start learning. You don't need to go to school, there are books and recordings available. It will simply require you to spend some of your time. But you are feeling guilty for spending time on yourself. You see what we have here? You feel guilty for taking the time for your own development. It never happens overnight. It doesn't work like that. Sooner or later we find ourselves in a situation where we have to understand that no one not one living soul besides ourselves is interested in our happiness, power or success. No one. When we are little, we depend on our parents to a certain degree. They might still take care of us. But even this care, as it turns out, is very relative. But once we are grown, even our parents are not the ones who are truly interested in our fortune. That could happen. Let alone everyone else. Do you think your spouse or your children are interested in your success? 
Try making more money than your husband and see how happy he will feel about that. This happened to me. Now I don't work at all. And you won't be, because it was a voluntary sacrifice. All is well, you are a homemaker, but the husband is happy. Within the boundaries of one family, there is no competition. Then your daughter grows up young and beautiful, and you, the mother, are young and beautiful as well. And then the reverse competition starts. We are all human, do you understand? Humans are not always perfect creatures. If you don't understand that no one aside from you is truly interested in your fortune, your success and your health, there will always be people in your circles who will try to snatch some parts of you. Always. Because not everyone in this world possesses rights. There are people out there who have none. It's their first time here in this life. First time. They have nothing yet. So start working. Open up a book with illustrations. Anna will show you during the break. The very first course. There you will find all the exercises. Take the recording of the first course. The exercise descriptions are all there. Try to practice them for 21 days. After the 21 days are up, come back. If nothing changes, then one of the schoolmasters will perform a cleansing ritual for you. <laughs> this is what I was told. Perform a cleanse. Then I will be able to remove the spell. This is exactly what I am telling you as well. Try helping yourself first. And if it doesn't work, if there are damages that you are not able to fix, then of course we will help. How could one not help? How could one not help a good person? But first the person must prove that they are a good person, meaning that they are ready to fight for, if not their happiness, then at least for their life. Prove it. It's only 21 days. It's not much.